Hello all, it is the very end of 2018, so I thought that I would do an updated collection tour for you all. Um, for those of you who have watched my other collection videos, you might have known that I actually have two parts to my collection. Uh, there's one part of my collection that stays in Ohio with my parents, and then these are the horses that are with me up in Michigan. Um, that I keep up here. So without further ado, this is kind of going to be kind of long um, as there's a lot here. So we'll just kind of go through the cabinets and let you see who's here. So we'll start up here. These are the ruffians I have here. Um, we have a Halloween horse. Um, she was a web special and American Pharaoh. Um, I also have a winter song conga. I really like them. Um, these are the new Christmas horses that just came out. I have two more coming. Um, I actually, I, I got another one of these rose golds that I'm trading for a blue and I also have another order um, coming. So whatever it is, I will trade for a green so I will have a full set of them. Um, this is the volunteer model, Rainier, Pample Moose, the original um, Christmas horse. This is Argyle, um, Fox Valley Oliver, um, a glossy Fox Valley Oliver that was a show prize, Silver Snow, um, this guy was a regular run, this guy was a Briarfest special run, um, Silverado, these were the treasure hunts that I have the matte and glossy versions in, as you guys can see. Um, it's Button on the Ritz, I have a matte and glossy Boone, um, and then I have a Xavier, and then I have three Wyatts over here, Fletcher, Tractor Supply Horse, and um, a Briarfest Special Run. So coming down here, I have some of my Nakotas. Um, this guy, it was a Briarfest um, Surprise Horse, Halloween Horse. This is um, Everglades from the 2011 Sunshine Celebration event. This is Phantom Face from the 2007, or 2018 Arizona event. I have a couple Clydesdale Foles, um, regular run. This is um, Quicksilver, he's a 2006 Briarfest prize model. Um, a treasure hunt, prize horse, and then a regular run. Um, we'll just go this way. So two fell ponies, the regular run, and then this is Black Eyed Susan, which was the 2016 I believe it was, yes, 2016, Chasing the Chesapeake special run. Um, that's kind of sore, that's an older, um, just regular run. These are my jumping ponies that I have here. Um, this is Spring Break from the 2011 Sunshine Celebration event, the three medalist ponies, and a regular run. This is a little OOAK Peter Stone, um, a Briarfest special run. This was a 2006 um, Briarfest celebrate or 2007 I believe actually um, Briarfest um, not celebration a uh, volunteer model it's just a little resin Don't really have a good place for him three weanlings two JC Penny and a regular run um, this is just a little regular run classic well not regular run I take that back sorry um, I believe this was when they did like the show special things so that's a so, so that's a show special um classic and then i have the three bellas i have boogeyman and then a matte and glossy bella Put him back so the glossy bellas um well it's, it's part of this collection over here um these guys are for the briar benefit program um in anybody who has a kids show gets a glossy classic and then um anybody else who qualifies also gets a um well, yeah, they all get a big horse. People that have kids divisions get a glossy classic. That's a better way to say that. So I have um, all of them except Vulcan. So I have the classic Black, Be the classic Black Beauty and Zuni, which was the first year. Um, this is Glossy Mariah and Lioness. Um, I forget this guy's name off the top of my head, but... The Glossy for that year, Razzmatazz, Glossy Liam, and I'm blanking on this guy's name too. Um, anyway, moving on. Sorry. Um, and then Glossy Harley and 
this guy who I'm also blanking on the name. I'm striking out today. Okay. So this is a glossy Harley. He was at the 2014, I believe, Briarfest um, costume contest model. I can't believe that's been that long since this, since um, I won him. <laughs> um, these guys are two glossy surprise models from Briarfest. This was a table centerpiece from the 2014 Big Easy Bash. Um, this is Excalibur. There were 20 made of, of him. Um, this is Surf and Sand. This was a special run for the 2012 Passage to the Pacific um, event. There were 12 made of this set. My mom was at the very front of the line, so she got them. Um, and three Peter Stones. Um, going over here, we have the Try On Special Run. Um, the Try On Special Run, what's his name? Um, I'm having a blank. I get the tag. Having a blanks. Brunello. There we go. Brunello. <laughs> Try on special run Brunello. Um, this was Valiant and Connoisseur. It was a Briar Fest. Um, just special run. Um, this is Jake. He was a 2002 Western Hat Contest prize model. Um, at Briar Fest, there were 20 of him made. This is just an older um, guy with a blue sticker. Um, they have three adioses here. This is Brandywine. Um, this is Frappe, who was a web special back in the day. And this is Coco Beach, who was a 2011 um, Sunshine Celebration special run. So moving over here, um, I have Parfait, who was um, a Briarfest um, volunteer model. I want to say this was 2006, 15, 15, 2015. Um, 2015 volunteer model. Um, this is Best Actor. He was a Briarfest overall champion model in 2010. This guy, um, this is called After Party. He was a also a um, volunteer model at Briarfest. This is one of the few auction horses that I have in my collection. This is a Briarfest auction model. Um, he was auctioned in 2000. Eight. He was my first one I got. Saved up a lot of money for him. So he's kind of fun. Moving on, this is La Jolla. She was a Passage to the Pacific 2012 special run. Um, this was a Briarfest special run. She's a glossy version. This little guy was Calvin. Um, I can't remember. I think it was this year, 2018, that they did these. And then this is... Um, it, the, the 2011 um, diorama contest prize model. Um, I believe his name is Happily Ever After. I call him Jack because I won with um, a Jack and the Beanstalk diorama. Uh, moving on, so we have Briarfest special run. This is Geronimo. He was premier horse. Um, this guy is actually a semi-glossy version. We'll get to him in a second. This guy is a semi-glossy version of JC. Um, I don't know if you can see that. But he was kind of fun. He was a tractor supply special run. Um, this is Hope and Glory, Connoisseur, Alborozo, um, another Connoisseur. Um, I forget what year he was. Um, but that's Del Fuego. Um, this is Devil's Food. She was a 2008 um, Briarfest Prize model. And then this is Lady C, who was also a Briarfest um, store special. Oops. And then this is just a little unfinished test that I have. Um, just kind of cool. Pat him for, I don't know, about eight years or so now. Um, so coming down here. Um, this was just a mid-year um, release that was, or I think it was a brick and mortar special run. This is Four Stars. He was a Sweet Home Chicago special run. Um, that was a Briarfest store special. This was the very first Premier Club horse that they did. And this was a Tractor Supply horse from this year. Um, these guys, this is a connoisseur. Um, this is Masquerade, who's a little dusty. 
I always really like this one. It had just kind of fun designs on it. Oops. This is Frankensteed, who was a 2000, um, I believe it was 10, 9 or 10. I always want to say, I always want to call it 10, and I believe it was a 2009, yeah. 2009 Lone Star event horse. Um, so the Lone Star event and the, the recent Scottsdale event were the only two events I have not gone to. I've gone to all the rest of them, so you will see a lot of event horses in here just because I've been to all the events. Um, this is Raven. Um, Raven was, I believe, a... So this was a 2016, this was a Chasing the Chesapeake, <clears throat> I believe, horse. Had to have been for 2016. So moving over here, I have Novelly So D, who was a Briarfest special run, or like store special, sorry. Um, and then I have this guy who was a Briarfest, um, I think 2013, it doesn't say. I'm pretty sure it was 2013. Um, prize model for the open show. Um, this was a designer horse. My mom made her, him to look her to look like my real horse, and she, eh, sort of does. Um, this was a designer horse. This was a designer horse. This is Greenwood, two thousand eight special run. This was a little Walmart guy who was released in two thousand eighteen, and that's Han that's Hansel and Gretel. Um, I believe that is. I'm gonna say that that's Gretel. I'm pretty bad with names. So I have a few Clydesdale mares. This is a regular run. This is Lennox Rosebud, who is, who was a um, connoisseur. A little Halloween horse down here. Um, this is um, Del Mar. She was a, I believe it was 2000, gosh, how old is she? 2009, wow. 2009 um, Briar West with an addition, and then that was a tractor supply horse. This was a designer horse. This was a best offer horse. Um, it has little ghosts on it and color shifts. Bring them out. You can see they like disappear, which is kind of fun. I'm on this side too. Um, this was back when Stone had a regular line, and I don't, wanna, I don't know, I wanna say like 2013, 2014. This is, he, he's a Kit Kat, I want him at a show. Um, coming over here to the Saddlebreds, this is a custom, it's a very old custom, 2000, I think, two, I had him made. Um, this is Third Times of Charm, who's a connoisseur. This is Confetti, who was the 2011 um, model you got for the Sunshine Celebration. Um, Apropos, who was a connoisseur. Um, this is another auction model. Um, this guy was, I believe, 2013, 14. Um, nice big Ben. Has pearly, he's very sparkly, he's a little dusty. Nice mapping. I like his face. He, I just like that he doesn't really, he just has a very black face. Um, I really like him. Um, this was a volunteer model for 2006, Halloween horse, and um, a Briarfest special run called Make-A-Wish. Um, coming down here, I have Lonesome Glory. So it's a Briarfest special run. This is Paparazzi, who was a 2008 Velvet Rope um, horse you got with your ticket. Um, these two were both Briarfest um, surprise special horses. This is um, just a... I shouldn't say just, but this was a Briarfest um, prize model at the open show um, in 2007. Um, this is the matte version. This is Mosaic, who is the very first connoisseur. Um, and of course, you can't have the very first connoisseur without having the very last connoisseur, Thrill Seeker. So um, definitely, I like them. They're fun. Coming over here, this is Farlap. He was an Australian... Um, special run. This is Nola, who is a Big Easy Bash special run. This is Red Rum, who is a special run in the UK. Um, this is a Briarfest Celebration model, um, I think from 2017. I really liked him. I thought they did a really nice job on them. Coming over here, um, these are my Roxies. Um, this is Spot On, who's a connoisseur. This was a um, 
Briarfest surprise horse, and this was also a Briarfest surprise horse from the same year. This is a little Halloween stone. Um, my mom won him at a show. She really like collects uh, stable mates, so she sent him here to live with me. So coming over here, sorry, I'm scooting on the floor. Um, so this is, this was the Chicago horse, um, the Sweet Home Chicago 2015 model you got with your ticket. Um, this is Frankenstein. This was um, the, the centerpiece from 2000. Please don't do that. Um, from 2008, he, he was from the um, Velvet Rope event, sorry. In 2008, I won him. I've officially won three centerpieces from the events, um, and I, I actually have four in my collection, which we will get to. There are two of them actually next to each other over there. So, um, this is Turbo, an old um, Briarfest celebration horse, a Briarfest special run. No, that's not Turbo. Sorry, that's just an older um, Mustang. Briarfest or Briarfest special run. This is Turbo, the um, an older Briarfest celebration horse. Um, this is my this was my very first test I ever got. Um, just a little Mustang. He is actually the under coat color. If you won't knock each other around, of Baron here. Um, so my Baron's really kind of interesting. Um, he has gray hooves. Most of them have pink hooves, and he has he has a gray face. I don't think you can see, but I guess I could bring him out. Um, he has a gray face, which is interesting, and um, hand painted eyes. So, just kind of a different variation on the run. I haven't seen another one like him. So, kind of cool. Um, so, this is the 2012 um, Light Thunder um, Passage to the Pacific Horse. This was 2014 Cafe um, Big Easy Bash. Um, of course you got with your ticket. I might call him a celebration horse. Of course you got with your ticket. This is a little unfinished, um, family Arabian mare. Um, it's believed that it came from the Marnie Walerius, um, collection or that she painted it. Maybe not from her collection, but that she painted it. Um, this was, this is Chesapeake, who was the 2016 Chasing the Chesapeake, um, model you got with your ticket. Um, that's Glossy Cassette. This is just a little guy that I picked up at a um, antique shop a few years back. I thought he was kind of cool with his little sign. Um, this is another test run Briarfest um, celebration model, or not celebration model, auction model, sorry. Um, this guy was from 2011. Um, he's pearly, he's glossy, he's pearly, he's matte, um, and his, I don't know how much the camera's picking it up, but his um, brown is very coppery and just, just really pretty. Um, I, I just really liked how he was painted, so he came home with me. Um, just a very old um, dapple gray, and that was a 2000 um, Seminole, sorry, 2011 um, Sunshine Celebration Special Run. Um, two... Of the little Frisians, I like this small. One's very matte and one's a little bit sem more semi-glossy, so um, I kept them because they were both very different. This is Barbara, who I love. Um, this was Greed Greedy, who was a 2014 um, Big Easy Bash special run. This is Foiled Again, who is signed by the owner. Um, I absolutely love Foiled Again. I wanted to go see him actually run tonight, but I unfortunately, um, I just have to go back to school on the second, so I just really wasn't feasible. Um, this guy was a an overall reserve champion prize model in 2008 um, at a show that I showed and I won. Um, I actually won two of them, but I ended up selling one a few years ago. Um, this is just Marcus, um, just a brick and mortar special run. This is the, the Glossy Shire that they just did for the Collector Club Appreciation. Um, this is Fahano, who was a Briarfest special run. Um, kind of over here. Whoops, sorry. Need to vacuum in here. Um, I have Griffin. Um, that was J.C. Penny horse. This horse was a Briarfest special run. That was a regular run. Um, this was the original Cleveland Bay, who I love, and this is Chicory, who is a 2014 Big Easy Bash special run, and this is a glossy 
Cosmic One. There are 500 of these made, um, sold through a site. Um, so coming over here is the 2018 Briarfest special run. This was a recent web special who I got lucky enough and I got picked for. Um, this is Walmart special, or yeah, just a Walmart special. This is a designer horse, an old Proud Arabian um, full, two little rears. This guy was a web special, well, like a, a Briarfest, just like web store kind of horse that you, anybody could buy. You don't have to be a pick for him. Um, this guy's a little unfinished glossy test. I got him and that guy up there from the same seller. Um, all three Scotties. I really liked this little run. I thought they were all really cute. I'm um, coming over here. We have a charcoal um, treasure hunt horse, um, a tractor supply special run. Um, this was a web special, um, just a matte denim. Um, this was um, Marvelous, who was a 2002 premiere event. I didn't get to go to the, that event either, but um, I really like this horse. This is one of my favorite horses in my collection. Um, and this is Tempestuous. He was a 2006 Briarfest raffle model. Um, I won him in 2006. Coming over here. So these are all of my flockies. I do keep them in bags because I just, just to keep them clean and keep the dust off of them. Um, but just kind of going through them. I have two Clydesdales. One's a mare and one's a gelding. Um, this one doesn't have any sort of tack. Um, it didn't fall off or anything. It just, it never came. This guy has a bridle and braids and a tail ribbon and stuff. Um, this is a Proud Arabian Stallion. He has um, a bridle on with a lead shank, a rocking horse. This rocking horse has kind of a different bridle than a lot of the other rocking horses do. Um, most of them just have a ring with reins. This one has a full bridle, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, then a mare in full. Um, running mare in full set. I have Stormy and Misty. It's kind of hard to see. There's Stormy and Misty. And then I have um, the Smoky Unicorn Flocky. So coming quickly over here, um, this is just kind of sitting on the floor because I didn't really have a good place to put them. Um, th these guys will be taken out of the box pretty soon, but this is the George Morris and Rio um, set. And let me see if I can get it open for you guys to see. It comes with a George Morris doll and um, a special edition um, Rio horse. I believe there, I think there were 200 or 215 of them. So, let's see. Yeah, there were 250. Two or I, I said 215, I meant 250. 250, so I have 188 out of 250. Um, comes with a little certificate of authenticity. And just show him off. So there's the horse. Comes with the George Morris doll and just a little halter. It's a nice little set. Um, I've just kind of kept them in the box because, again, I don't really have a good place to put them right now. Um, as you can see up there, it's pretty full. And obviously the winter songs take up room up there. So for now, they're just going to hang out here till I get a little bit more space. Put them back really quick. Much easier to put back than to take out of the box. And again, this little Walmart set, I'm going to take out of the box soon. I just haven't had time. So coming over here, um, I have this new, um, a few of these newer, newer, I shouldn't say new, um, running Marin foals. Um, so this is the Montecita and Chico set who, who were Briarfest special runs. Um, and there's this set who was a regular run. Um, this one's chalky and this horse is semi-gloss, which is kind of fun. Um, the, normally they're just matte. He unfortunately does have a little bit of a boo-boo on him, so he, I don't really show him, but just nice to have on the shelf. And this was just a collector club special that they did. Um, this is Spirit of Hollow's Eve, who was a 2008 um, special run for the Velvet Rope event. There's little ghosts and stuff on him. So 
So then we come over here and we have my favorite stone mold, um, these guys, the Andalusians. So this is a big Elaine Ermine. Um, I have the mini customized version, which I just absolutely love. I don't know where she even is. She should be out. Huh. Anyway, I'll have to find her. Um... Interesting, I thought I put her out. Anyway, okay, we'll have to find her. Um, this is a Soleil, who I just absolutely love, this horse. Rainbow. Um, and this is Prince, what did I, what's his name? Prince Valiant, that's right. This was um, a 2000, I believe, 16 um, Equilocity special run. Oh, no, she is out. Okay, she's it, it's a little stable, mate. We'll talk about it. Um, so I have the matte and glossy version of the of Jake. Um, this was a so, so the matte version was a regular run, the glossy version was a collector club appreciation model in 2017. Then I have Molly McGuire, who is a connoisseur, and then Chico Bonita. Chica Bonita um, who was a special run for the Arizona event, the Scottsdale Stampede in 2018. Um, then I have this guy who was a 2003 Briarfest t-shirt contest prize model. Um, my mom and I actually both won one, but I, tra I actually traded my extra one of him for that glossy Uncle Tiki over there. And then just a little um, uh, regular run. I like the polo pony. So my stable mates, this is not anywhere near the stable mates, as many stable mates as I have. I just, I rotate them out to have different stuff here to see. Um, so just back here, you can kind of see um, some of the, these were the 2018 Briar for single days. I have some um, of the stable mate club horses, a Briar Fest single day ticket, two of the um, just about horses set. Um, maybe, I don't, I, like 2006 or something, I forget. Um, again, it's a stalemates club, a little unfinished, um, regular run. Then I have all of the event models, um, starting with the Frankenstein, Mini Denim, Tiki, Hear Me Roar, um, Moon Pie, I always forget this one, Belvedere, um, I forget that Cecil, and Seguro, yes. Um, anyway, so coming down here, I conga the little and Andalusian. So I have a mini Bourbon Street. Um, then just this was a sp this was a Briarfest special run, just unpainted. Um, this was a Spirit Horse. This this one guy was um, in a like. Mare and foal, mare stallion foal surprise set, regular run, premier club horse, blind bag. Um, and we have a couple little stones. This is Sailor, it's a run of three. This was the mini Elaine Ermine. Um, I absolutely love this horse. Um, just a little stone Morgan. Um, this is a glossy, sorry, my camera's kind of out of focus. This is a glossy. Um, version of a four pet piece set. I found it at TJ Maxx. They're usually matte, copper to Django, um, blue surprise model from Cracker Barrel. Um, this guy was just a stable mate club horse. Three of the surprise mini winnies. Um, this horse is, is a run of about, I think, six. Um, this was a bus trivia prize back when they, from the 2000. Um, Eight velvet rope event back when they used to actually give like tests and stuff so this is a little test um, lying full which is kind of cool um, then I have all four fruitcake fillies a um, couple albarozos who I kept both of them because they were both kind of different this guy glows in the dark so that's kind of fun um, another surprise horse stablemate club um, both of these are stablemate clubs and then a justify so coming back here we have Glossy, Sophia, and Julian, um, and then a Christmas special horse. So coming over here, come down here first. So this is a test. This is a test Sherman Morgan. 
kind of interesting. Older chest from the 80s. Um, this one was a um, special run from, oops, I'm not going to do that, but this was a special run from um, the 2000. 14 big big easy bash and that this guy kind of matches him so I keep him with it but um that was a, a single day uh briar fest stable mate I think there were 50 of the, these guys um this was last no two years ago's Christmas special um then I have my Bobby Joe so I have um a web special um Sheila which was a briar fest special run and then I have the matte version, the semi-gloss version, and then the glossy collectors appre collector um, club appreciation model of the Paint Me a Peptos. So you can see the progression of shine. I think maybe one of those needs to go. <laughs> There's a lot. They take up a lot of room too. So this guy was a premier club horse, Val Hoffner. Then we have a few flashes. This is Juniper, who was a um, web special. Um, this was a Stonely Surprise from 2000, I believe, 12. I pulled him out on my birthday, which was kind of cool. Um, this is Riderless. He was a Charter Supply horse. This was the, I think, the first year they did those Christmas specials. Um, it was kind of funny. I, I was um, trying to apply to both Michigan State and Mississippi State um, for vet school, and I was kind of... I couldn't really decide where I wanted to go, and I, I had gotten Mississippi State's decision at that point, but I hadn't heard, I hadn't even interviewed it at that point for Michigan State, but I really wanted to go to Michigan State, hence why I'm in Michigan, um, and it was just kind of interesting because I was like, well, I think that if, if I get the red and white, who's more like maroon and white, which is Mississippi State's colors, or the green and white, which is like Michigan State's, I was like, whichever one I pull out, it'll tell me which school I'm going to go to, and I ended up pulling him out, um, so I was like, well, I'm going to be going to Michigan State, and here I am. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. Um, this is a Glossy Cobra. Um, this was a um, Collector Club appreciation model for this year. Um, back here, just a few um, Pebbles. I was going to call them Pebbles Weanlings. They're Pebbles Arabians. Um, and then this is Mares Medusa. She was a best offer horse. She has three heads. She used to be one of these guys back here, but um, just kind of interesting. I, I like all the weird ones. So she has little two toes. So she doesn't stand. She's she's really front heavy. So I just lay her down because she's not super. She's not super super stable. So coming up here, um, I have a little classic what appears to be um, a test quarter horse mare. She's a different color than what they should be. She's more of like a, like a, just like the sorrel color um, rather than that like true bay that they were. Um, so these are my Andalusians. Briar Fest Celebration Horse. This is Silver Screen who was a 2008 um, Velvet Rope Event Horse. This is Tamarack, who was a 2012 Passage to the Pacific Horse. Galahad, who was a Briarfest Special Run. And then this little rainbow guy who was released this year, who I love. Um, this is Fiesta. I believe he's a one of, I think, 16 or 18. Uh, again, 2012 Passage to the Pacific. Um, I have a Wedgwood Running Foal. Um, a fun full surprise um, treasure hunt model and then just a little stone his name's Orion um, coming over here I have one well two customs I have two customs in my collection this guy it's like a galaxy custom um, Rialto who's a web special from this year um, this was a Briarfest prize model and I believe 2015 15 I believe um, and this is Glossy Totalist, who I just love. Uh, coming over here, we have two more centerpieces. This is the Scottsdale event centerpiece, which I did not win him. I did purchase him, um, her, but little foal. His name's Peplum. There's 20. Um, this is Wadsworth, who I did win. There were 20 of him. Um, he has kind of a shine. He 
can't really see it on camera all that well, maybe a little bit, but it's he has like a purple and green and gray shift to him. So he's kind of interesting. I did win him. Um, so then we have El Capitan um, 2012 Passage, Passage to the Pacific. This is Hollywood Boulevard, who was 2008 um, Velvet Rope event. <laughs> And this was a store special from Briarfest when they used to do these like connoisseur level type horses. Um, coming over here, I do also Conga Vallegro. So I have all the Vallegros. Um, this is the original Vallegro. This is Colossi Vallegro, who is a prize model, I believe, in 2000. They don't ever say. Bugs me. Um, 2017, I think. This is Acadia, who's a web special. This is Sinza. This was a 2016 Briarfest raffle model. I did win him. So that was pretty amazing. I couldn't believe it. There were, that thing was so full. Cool. Um, this is just the gold collectors and then the, the Glossy and Matte Indu, who were Briarfest special runs. Um, so coming up here, so this, is, this is kind of a lot of congas. <laughs> um, I do conga also the Classic Shire, and I do have all of them as well. Um, the one I don't have here who, that is at my parents' house is the bronze, um, but I do have that. I just, it's not here. Um, so, but before we get into them, we will look at these guys. These guys are just, um, this was a regular run full, running full, and this is the Hansel and Gretel. This is Gretel, or Hansel. This is Hansel, I think. Um, and then two Corgis, which these guys are really interesting. They're very different. Um, one's more of like a semi-gloss. Um, versus this guy is more of like a mat and we'll talk about that in a minute but so coming up here um, this guy's interesting I got this guy directly from Briar in an Easter grab bag a few years ago he is a glossy classic Shire and he's not semi gloss he is he is glossy very glossy So he's really interesting. Um, so I have him. Then I have the matte version, which I will pull out and you, get, you can kind of see the difference. I mean, the matte, it is shiny, but in comparison, um, the, the glossy is very glossy. And I can kind of show you guys. You can just see how much shinier he is than he is even in the face. So coming over here, um, we do, so I have the, a web special, like web, I don't, I don't know what, if I should call it webs, it's, it wasn't one you had to get drawn for, it was one you just go on and purchase. Um, both of these actually were, so web um, release, I don't know. This is Tristan, who was one of the show specials, um, like this little guy over here. Um, this guy was a show special. I really like him. I've always really liked him. Um, regular run. This was the original release. It came with a cart. I do also have the cart. It's at my parents' house because I don't have a lot of room here. Um, another regular run. Another web release. This is Yankee Doodle Dandy who was a 2007 diorama contest prize model. Took me a long time to track him down, but I finally did a few years ago. Um, again, the one that came with the original release. It's the only one it looks like, well, well, maybe not the only one. I take that back. They used to paint their their hooves on these guys, but they kind of quit doing that. Um, these guys were web releases, collector club web releases. Um, they were a gambler's choice, kind of like the Scotties over there and the Calvins. Um, I really liked these guys. Obviously, I since I conga the mold, I've released a lot of stuff I've conga this year. It's last two years really, and it's kind of getting to be obnoxious. And then this guy was a regular run, um, just a little stone pony that was old. Um, now we have a web special who, that was Sanibel and Highwire, who is a Briarfest special run. I'm coming over here. I have Quarter Flash, who is a connoisseur. Um, this guy is Chase Chance. He was a regular run. This is Balboa. Um, I believe he was one of 16 from the 
Briar Passage to the Pacific event in 2012. This was a Briar Fest store special this year. This is a Kabob Crane. This is a glossy um, Vanilla Banks. Banks Vanilla. Banks Vanilla. It's called, I always call it Vanilla Banks. Banks Vanilla. This She was a Briar Fest prize model. I just, her gloss was just so pretty on that white. I really liked her. Um, this was a Briarfest surprise model. This was a Briarfest store special. This was a 2000, uh, whoa, this, he's old, 2008, 2011, okay. Not, not as old as I was thinking. 2011, um, they, they released these guys in Columbus, or at quite a fair Columbus. Um, there were 200 of them. I lived in Columbus at the time, so I just ran right over there and picked one up. So that was really great. Um, these guys, this is an overall champion and reserve prize model for um, the Equilock City Show in 2016. Um, back here I have some Ambers and Ashleys. So that's a regular run, regular run, regular run. JC Penny Horse and another regular run. This is also a regular run. These are Ambers. This is Ashley. Um, regular run. Um, this was just those flower horses. Um, I always liked this one. It was really pretty. Um, this is a WEG um, 2014, I want to say, release. Uh, there were 500 of these classics. I got this in a grab bag, so I was really happy about that. Um, so another, whoops, as, as I bang it into the, into the auction model. Um, the other auction model that I have is this guy, girl, I should say. This I got this horse in 2010. Um, this was just a little... Pinto as just a dream. I really liked her because I felt like she kind of matched my Tempestuous down here pretty well, who I should probably pull out for you guys. I'll pull him out really quick as I'm banging her more against the horses again. It's like, it's like, oh, that's a few thousand dollars right there. Um, <laughs> so this is Tempestuous. I should have pulled him out. Um, I just liked it because they were very similar in pattern and I just love this horse. So he's probably one of the favorites in the collection. Not probably, he is. He's probably my favorite horse in my collection. I have a few of them, but he's definitely top five. So this is, move this, um, this is Music Row Briarfest prize model in 2013. I think there were 10 of them made. This was a Briarfest um, special run. Put him back. This is Oasis. This was a um, Cotosaur horse. This is Gold Raven, who was wet, who was a wig 2010 special run. Glossy as just a dream. Oh, I conga these ones too. Sorry, I have all of the I have all of the really so when when I say I have all of them, I mean I have all the ones that aren't one of a kind. Um, so I, I don't have all of the one of a kinds. I do have one, one of a kind, um, same with these guys. I don't have the one of a kinds, but I do have the ones, any, anything that was produced and released it, that was more than one. I had them all. Um, I also can say, I could used to be able to say I had them all, all of these guys. Um, I am missing the glossy version of him who there's five made. So I am, this is like my top grail right now on the glossy version. So if anybody has one for sale, let me know. Um, sorry, so it's coming back here. So, so this is glossy as just a dream. She was a prize model. Um, this is the matte version of S just a dream. This is Burbank. Um, there were 50 of them made for the Sweet Home Chicago event in 2015. This was a Briarfest special run. A regular run, a web special, and a JC Penny run. So coming over here, two little Halloween horses. Just a little foal that I picked up that looked kind of nice, and then a Christmas little foal. Um, for bouncers, I have Sam Dollar, who is a connoisseur, Icicle, who was a just a, like a brick and mortar special, and then the blue Christmas release from last year. This is the, a glossy um, Collector Club Appreciation model. This is Oliver, um, who was a Briarfest special run. This is, I call him Elton Cameo. So, there, so this was a, um, I think there were 
20 or 30 of these made. This was a Briar Fest um, contest prize model. And I believe 2010. Yeah, 2010 and then 2011 was, where did you go, Jack? Right there. So I, I really like donkeys. I really like the rare donkeys. I'm a little bummed that I didn't get a coal because for whatever reason, rare donkeys just kind of find me, but that's okay. Um, this is Tennessee Titan, who was a Firefest um, store special. And then this is Cornelius. <laughs> he was a Halloween release from 2017 that I got picked for, which I was thrilled about. So coming up here, this is Widowmaker. Um, this is, this was a connoisseur. Um, Bristol, Jumping Horse. This is Bolo, who was the 2018 Scottsdale Stampede event horse. One of them, special runs. Um, two sconces that are old, um, a 2016 Chasing the Chesapeake um, special run, two little guys. So these guys, sorry that they're kind of a mess, but um, these guys are flocky carts. This is the ginger um, cart. And then as you can see, this has a um, Proud Arabian Stallion in his cart. This is a classic cart, and this guy is a um, traditional. So I think that is about it um and then i have a couple ribbons sitting over here um these were just from 2017 briar fest i won two sectional champs and that was this year for the collector's class i got a fourth so and then oh i guess this we can talk about this ribbon too um i, I at the last show i went to i ended up winning um best in show with my um medusa over here my three-headed horse. <laughs> so um, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'm sorry that this this video is 46 minutes long, but there's kind of a lot to go through. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, everybody have a safe and happy new year.